All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So with the release of the new STRLR Vegito, we can finally, for the first time in the history of this game, run an all Vegito team, which is pretty freaking awesome. And I gotta say, man, I've been using this team quite a bit over the past couple of days, and it's definitely one of the most fun teams I have ever used since I started playing this game. I mean, with all the counters and additional supers and transformations, dodges, all that stuff happening everywhere. This team is absolutely amazing. It's super, super fun. And I'm excited to share it with you guys in this video. Okay, now before we jump in, let's take a quick look at the team composition, starting with my personal LR Vegito. As you can see, he has one dupe. I tried to get a second dupe a couple days ago, but uh, for those of you that saw the last summoning video, things, um, it didn't go so well. They, they really did not. So <laughs> we only have the one dupe. I'm done summoning. We're not going back in. If you guys missed that video, I would definitely recommend that you go check it out at some point because um, if you've ever felt bad about a summoning session you've done in the past, this video will probably make you feel better about it. Okay, so yeah, go check it out. Link above my head. But uh, beyond that, we have the Fizz Vegito Blue, of course. Fully Extreme Z, uh, Extreme Z Awakened, and also Rainbowed. We also have Tech LR Vegito Blue. We have EZA AGL Super Vegito. Also the Int LR Vegito from the three year anniversary. And also Tech Free to Play Candy Vegito. Now, honestly, I'm a, I'm a little bit worried about him. Um, he could definitely get us in trouble, but of course, uh, we need to include him on the team in order to make a all Vegito team. So he's also here. Hopefully, he gets some good dodges, and uh, you know we're able to stack up that defense as quickly as possible. And for the friend Vegito here, he has uh, two dupes. Not bad, and also pretty good links. Damn. Okay, so there's the friend. And without further ado, let's jump in and uh, check out this team. Okay, so on the first rotation we have. Both Vegito Blues, as well as uh, one of the LR Vegitos, I think. It's the yeah, it's the friend one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually mm, float the STR Vegito. I'm going to keep the blue Vegitos together. And we're going to get some nice counters here. And yeah, we're off to a good start. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, my bad. The STR Vegito is not going to be supering. That's okay. Actually, I think I think the Vegito Blues will probably kill the Goku anyways. Look at those crit counters, man. Yo, so my Vegito Blue, my fifth Vegito Blue has a level 24 crit in the hidden potential system, which is a 48% chance. All right, so essentially every other attack is going to be a crit. Every other counter is going to be a crit too. It's awesome. Yo, I would recommend everybody to build their Vegito Blue like that. Just give them as many crit as possible because those crit counters are just insane, man. Same thing with any Vegito, honestly, that can crit. I would go with like as many crit as possible. That's just my personal opinion. Obviously, you guys are free to do whatever you want with them. Um, okay, so hold on. Let me let me focus a bit. So obviously, I want to keep the two like LR Vegitos here together. But at the same time, we need the candy Vegito to super as many times as possible before we get to the final phase before we get to the MUI Goku. So I'm gonna have to break them up, break them up for now. It kind of hurts me, but it's just what we gotta do, man. I'm also trying to no item this stage, right? If we can, obviously I did bring items. So if things get a little bit, um, you know, a little bit dangerous, a little bit scary, and uh, I end up having to use an item, then I will. But for the most part, I'm going to try to no item this stage. I know this team can do it. It just takes a little bit of luck. You know, we just gotta be, first of all, smart about it. We have to be strategic, but also get kind of lucky. Okay, here we go. So now, um, you know what? I kind of want to keep the, I kind of want to keep the AGL Vegito in rotation so we can get double counters. But at the same time, I don't want to float the LR Vegito Blue. But, I mean, you guys have seen the LR Vegito Blue enough. Mmm, decisions, man. Decisions. All right, you know what? We're, we're gonna float him. We're gonna float him for now and just keep the Vegito Blues together because next turn, next time we come back, the Tech Vegito Blue is gonna transform, right? So 
I want to keep that. I want to keep that. Okay. So as this is happening, I wanted to have a quick discussion. You know what? I was going to make a video about this. I don't know if I want to talk about it right now. That's great. We'll talk about it right now. And I'll probably still make a video about it later on for anybody that doesn't watch this one. But uh, I wanted to talk about like what potentially we can expect for part two of the uh, worldwide campaign that's going on right now. And I have a few ideas. Okay, so hear me out and let me know in the comments down below if you guys agree with me or you have different ideas. Do you think I'm crazy? So on and so forth, right? But uh, the idea here is we're going to pop the active skill here. Um, the idea is either, I mean, there's a couple options. Obviously, I don't know for sure. I'm not a Bandai spy, but I'm thinking it's either going to be, of course, a Kid Boo, LR Kid Boo for the summonable LR, which is a pretty common idea. It's not really like a unique thing, but LR Kid Boo or an LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku or, and now this is the most interesting concept, right? This is the one that I think is, um, like I haven't heard it as much, but I have heard it floating around and I was talking to Nolar about it. He and Goresh were talking about it too. Um, a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, right? A Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks that exchanges into an Ultimate Gohan. I think that'd be pretty sick because there's not a Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks in the game at the moment, at least an LR one. And we're not going to include Mighty Mask, all right? That, that's Goten and Trunks, even though they fuse into Go Tanks in the Super Attack animation. You know, it's not actually a Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks card, so that doesn't count. Anyways, um, a LR Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks that exchanges into an Ultimate Gohan. And the reason why. You know, people have been talking about, like, both of them being included. And, yo, look at Candy Vegeta going off, man. Holy crap. Oh, by the way, the reason I didn't, um, I didn't exchange, or I didn't, uh, what do you call it? Hop the active skill for my LR Vegito is because I want to save that heal for later on when we really need it. Because when he, uh, when he fuses, you get the 50% healing, right? And also, I wanted to save the ability to save super, uh, to see super attacks for later on as well. So I decided to only pop one of the active skills and save the other one, okay? Anyways, um, what was I saying again? I'm, I'm getting too distracted, man. There's too much going on. Uh, so yeah, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks exchanging into uh, Ultimate Gohan. And the reason why it's floating around right now is because, as you guys saw in the title screen, there was... Uh, a Vegito, obviously, but also a Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and an Ultimate Gohan. And neither of those guys, even though they're Boo Saga related, neither of those units have uh, been part of the celebration yet, right? And usually, it's not 100%, it's not 100 but a lot of the times when we see, when we see certain um, characters in title screens, it means that they're going to be like summonable units in that celebration at some point, right? For example, there was the Jiren title screen. Ooh, it's my hurt. Oh no. That, that actually wasn't too bad. That actually wasn't too bad. Um, but yeah, there was the Jiren title screen for the uh, celebration on JP recently. And, you know, we didn't know for sure that there was going to be an LR Jiren until part two, but a lot of people were speculating and it ended up being an actual LR Jiren. So that's why. That's why there's the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks exchanging into Ultimate Gohan. And of course, it could also be an LR Ultimate Gohan, but that just makes no sense because we just got a new tech transforming Ultimate Gohan on uh, JP. And I just don't see them releasing two Ultimate Gohans that close to each other. You know what I mean? So I feel like that's a very decent possibility as well. You know, Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks exchanging into Ultimate Gohan. Um... We'll have to see, obviously, but I feel pretty good about that prediction as well. And I have a few other ideas, maybe just like one, but I'm going to save that for the video because I can't give away everything here. So um, if you guys are interested in, you know, some other ideas, then make sure to tune into the other video. Like I said, I'm going to probably make that anyways because not everybody's going to be watching this video. Um, damn, look at that. Some decent damage for the first attack after transforming. I mean, he is like almost maxed out for link levels. As you can see, I just need Fierce Battle and Legendary Power. So yeah, he, he's he's quite stacked. He, he's quite a monster. Okay, let's see Candy Vegito. Yeah, Candy Vegito, it's still... It's, it's still gonna need some work, man. He's still gonna need some work, damn. 
Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. Maybe I'll just float him for this rotation. I don't I wanna keep him in there though. Nah, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. It's not even dangerous. I just don't wanna I just don't wanna use him right now. <laughs> Cause he's not even gonna super. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take him out. Hopefully a bit later on we can get him to super a few more times. Or maybe just uh hide him a little bit. Or something like that. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, Candy of Vegito is definitely the one that like really, really worries me. Yo, every single counter, except for that one. I was gonna say every single counter so far by the LR Vegito has been a crit counter. But that that medium chance on his passive, in addition to the hidden potential crit chance, is is just crazy, man. Like this dude crits so much and it does so much damage every single time. Hey, you know what? You know what? I'm actually pleasantly surprised by how little damage that did. Like the normal, um, by the god coup, that, that was actually like impressive tanking, man. That was actually some pretty impressive tanking. I'll take it. Okay, so let's focus on the gameplay a little bit. Ooh, no. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> I should have put Fizz Vegito Blue. I should have put Fizz Vegito Blue in the front so he could kill the God Coup with the counter so I didn't have to use the Dokkan attack. I actually didn't even notice how close I was to a Dokkan attack. And now we're gonna waste it. Mm, that's annoying, man. I hate when it happens. And I do it all the time because I'm so bad at paying attention to the game. That's my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> okay, yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below what your predictions are for the Part 2 LR. If you have even any, like, additional predictions as far as like what their leader skills will be what the new categories will be all that good stuff um oh it looks like we actually lost the ability to see super attacks interesting interesting oh huh, okay well i think we'll be okay i think we'll be okay <laughs> famous last words i think it's gonna be fine um but yeah I, I, even if we get super here i don't think we're gonna be killed um Unless we didn't use up all our turns and we just don't have a super attack this turn. That might be the case as well. That might be the case as well. But we will see. Yep, nice crit right there. Got a dodge. And as you guys may know, dodges also lead to counters. It's not just like, you don't have to be hit for a counter. You'll still counter even if you don't get hit. And you can dodge the attack. Okay, there's the crit, so... <laughs> oh, man. Look at that da difference in damage, man. A, a normal counter does 300k. A crit counter, almost 2 million. Almost 2 million. Yo, what I really want to do is get my Int uh, Super Vegito to fuse as well. Right, so we have the double Super Vegito rotation. Right now, we can't get it because we just haven't fallen below like the, the requisite amount of HP yet. And it doesn't look like we're going to do it for this turn either, because the Vegito Blues are going to finish him off. But uh, yeah, at some point, I really want to get that double Vegito, uh, Super Vegito rotation going. Maybe maybe the next fight. Maybe maybe against the UI Goku. Yeah, this is going by really fast. <laughs> it's going by really fast. These Vegitos don't play around. Yo, but these Vegitos are no joke, man. Like, we're already on UI, and it's been... I think like 12 minutes since we started, and I've been talking a lot too. It's not like I'm going for a speed run. It's not like not like I'm trying to go as fast as I possibly can. Um, mm, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I'll, I'll probably still do this. I do want a AGL Vegito to get some nice counter. Yeah, you know what? That's actually a lot of attacks at the end. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. All right. So I'll give these to the. Super Vegito, give these to the Goku and Vegeta, and those four AGL Vegito. All right, so so far this run has been going really well, and I don't I don't have to worry too much about dying right now because like we still got the Int LR Vegito's full heal, right? We still got is it a full heal? It's a full heal, right? And also the fifty percent healing from uh, the active skill for AGL. Or for for uh, STR LR Super Vegito, that's a super. That's a lot of damage. Okay, <laughs> that's that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Yo, <laughs> if we if we 
I, I would say if we got like three or four more normal attacks, which which sometimes happens, like sometimes they just stack like 10 attacks on the first slot, um, and they were like, a few of them were crits, the STR Vegito might have actually been able to solo the UI Goku, man. How crazy would that have been? Okay, give me some crits, man. Come on, give, give me some crits. These are sad. These are sad. Wow. <laughs> this is really sad. This damage is... Wow. Okay. Well then. Should we heal? Um... Should we heal? I'ma say no. No, I'ma say no. I'm not gonna heal right now. Because... I want the Int Vegito, or the Goku and Vegeta, to get their fusion next turn, right? So I'm gonna actually try to take some more, some more damage, um, get below 50% HP, and then we can, you know, get the fusion, heal back to full, and uh, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll be good times with that double LR Vegito rotation. Let's just hope we don't die here. <laughs> that's 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 the oh we're fine we're fine. Yeah no, Vegito Blue's got this. Okay, so next turn we're gonna get that fusion. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get the full healing, so we'll be at full health again, and uh, we'll be good to go, man. We'll be good to go. This is about to be deadly. This is about to be net. Oh no, Candy Vegito's here. Oh no, Candy Vegito's here. <laughs> what to do? What to do? No, no. Oh man. Man, that sucks. I'm gonna have to break them up. I'm gonna have to break them up. Candy Vegito is uh Yeah, he screwed he screwed everything up. Man, I can't put Candy Vegito here. I can't put Candy Vegito here. You know what? Screw it, man. Screw it, man. For the for the purpose of like making this showcase more fun. I'm gonna pop the ghost usher just so I can make sure I don't die here. <laughs> Obviously, I think it could have been easily a no item run. Um but you know, I want to keep these Vegitos together, so we're going to pop that Ghost Usher. Uh, we're not going to call it a no item run, but it could have been. I'm just saying, you guys know this, it could have been a no item run if I really wanted it to be. We did forgo quite a few counters, which is unfortunate, but at the very least, next turn, when these uh, Vegitos come back, it's over. It's about to go down. Okay, it's about to go down. Alright, here we go. Hey, you did 69 damage, nice. <laughs> Exactly 69 damage. Okay, my bad, Vegito. I'm sorry I uh I disrespected you like that. Okay, let's see. Uh ooh, this is perfect. So we'll put this guy here. Uh yeah. Ooh, Fizz Vegito might actually finish off UI before we get a chance to go back to the next rotation. I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. Alright. Oh, we're getting super immediately. That's I mean it's not good, but at the same time, it's 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 better than if it was anybody else, right? So, I would say we got pretty lucky there, actually. Only 126k, too. So, it's not really like we're taking that much damage. Yo, I think next turn, we're about to get the double Super Vegitos. Actually, no. We're going to get the, yeah, the two LR Super Vegitos, as well as my LR Vegito um, active skill, too. So, it's going to be a triple Super Vegito uh, rotation. Oh, I can't wait. I can't freaking wait, man. Oh, that counter. Uh-oh. Oh, we're gonna kill him too fast. We're about to kill him too fast. This might be over. Oh, yo, dude, you uh, please dodge do dodge some of these. Dodge some of these. You dodge my attacks all the time when I don't want you to dodge. Can you at least dodge like one? <sighs> Can you at least dodge one of the supers? Bro. Okay, fine. No, he, no, we're still good. We're still good. But it's, the next rotation is not going to be as fun because we're literally going to kill him like for a super. It's going to suck. Well, guys, this just goes to show how powerful this Vegito team is, right? Like, <laughs> I'm trying to keep him alive and I just can't. I'm trying to keep the MUI Goku alive and it just, it's just, it's very hard to do so. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's, let's, let's. Let's let my Vegito finish things off, okay? I haven't used him much in this run, and I feel like he's getting he's getting hurt, he's getting offended. So I'm a I'm a allow him to fuse, and then I'm also going to let him deal the finishing blow. I think that's fair. I think that's fair. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna put him over here. Let's give him those. Almost a full 24. Not quite, but close. <coughs> and uh, there we go. That's gonna finish thing up, things off. Give me a nice crit counter. Ooh, 31k. Ouch. Actually, did quite a bit of damage. Either way, he's still dead. So there it is. You know what? Since it's a Vegito showcase, there's nothing more perfect than ending the, the run, ending the stage with a Vegito counter. I think that's the perfect way. It couldn't have gone any better. So there you go, guys. 17 minutes, 56 seconds. My fast time is actually 13 minutes and 24. So it's a quite, it took quite a bit longer than like my fastest run, but that was when I was like chilling in bed, um, just focusing on the game. So I'm sure this team could come close to that time or maybe even beat it if I was really, you know, focusing, just playing the game, not talking to you guys. But there's a the showcase, guys. That is the all Vegito team. Give it a shot for yourself if you guys have the Vegitos and uh, tell me how it goes because I think it's mad fun, man. It's my favorite team to run in the game right now. Maybe minus the uh, Candy Vegito because honestly, he just doesn't do much for me. But I wanted to do like the, the all Vegito theme, right? So I had to keep him there. But um, I would probably, you know, generally speaking, run like a support or something like that instead of the candy vegeto but yeah one of the most fun teams you could possibly run right now and uh, really really powerful too not just fun but really really strong on top of that but for the time being that's all i gotta say that is today's video oh reminder tell me your predictions for part two video probably coming later today or tomorrow and uh yeah thank you guys for watching man hope you guys enjoyed it as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me, first time, I just noticed every time I do like this whole head down pointing thing, it like messes up with, messes with the webcam and like things get really weird. But anyways, uh, what was I saying again? Oh, uh, if you're, if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.